Hello guys, JNM here. In this video I want to show you how I use Camtasia for creating my Instagram clips like this one or YouTube Shorts. Ok, so first let's start Camtasia 2021. You see there's already a recent project, but I'm going to start a new one now by clicking New Project. In this tutorial I will create an example project, an Instagram video from start to finish. After Camtasia is opened, my first task is to create a screen recording. But before that, I save the project. I'm just overwriting this existing one. Ok, now to do the screen recording, I click the button Record. Alternatively, you can press Ctrl and R. Now you see the capturing area that you can move around when you drag the center. And of course, you can also adjust the size of the area. But I keep it to a square of 1000 pixels. You could also add a webcam or record microphone or system sounds. But for my project, I'm just capturing the screen. In this example, I want to show a feature that I created for a Blender add-on. So I open the Blender application and then I adjust the size of the application to the capturing area. This is the part that I want to capture. And now I can go ahead and press the REC button to start the recording. Alright, now there is a countdown of 3 seconds and you can stop the recording by pressing the F10 key. Ok, let's say I want to show how to convert this curve into a mesh using my J Curve Tools add-on. So select the curve and press to mesh. Ok, here's the mesh in edit mode. And then we can also show how to increase the width of the curve by dragging a slider in the panel. Ok, and that's good enough for the example, then I press F10 to stop the recording. And now comes a feature that I really love. The screen capture is automatically added to our project and opened in the Camtasia application. It is also added to a track. So we can directly go ahead and edit the video. The first thing that I want to add is a lower third with a title so that the viewer knows what the clip is all about. So I go to library, lower thirds and now you can choose from existing ones but you can also import free assets from the TechSmith library. A link is added to the description. I choose this one and move it to track 2 so that it is above the screen capture. And here we can see it in the preview. I drag it a bit downwards, like that. And then we can double click it and change the title. You could also change colors and other properties here on the right side. After the title is set, I close the asset. And by pressing the spacebar, we can play the preview. The next thing that I want to do is to highlight some actions, for example when the button is pressed to convert a curve into a mesh. For this I go to Annotations and this tab, Blur and Highlights, and then I choose the Spotlight tool. Just drag it into Drag 2, above the recording. Now you see this nice Spotlight rectangle that you can move around and change the size. It's very easy and intuitive and I want to highlight this button that I press to convert a curve into a mesh. Now the button is pressed and the spotlight disappears, but of course you can adjust the length of the spotlight anytime in the track. Ok, for the second action where I increase the size of the bevel, I will add a spotlight as well. and adjust the position and the size. Make the clip a bit shorter. And I think we can go with that. In 
the properties you could change the intensity of the spotlight. Alright, but the spotlights just appear and disappear, but I want them to be faded in and out. Looks a bit more professional, you know? For this I open the transitions, for the type I select fades and drag fade onto the spotlight. And now fade in and fade out is created, these blue areas on the spotlight. And in the preview we see that the effect is faded in and out. But the fading is a bit too long so I just drag this to the left and this one to the right to adjust the fading length. Another preview. Yeah, this looks nice. Okay, and then I do the same for the other spotlight. Now I want the clip to end here, so I just drag the end of the recording to this position. Nice, but one thing is missing and this is audio. I select all the clips and move them one level to the upside, because I want to add an audio clip here to drag one. I have some audio files in a folder and I just drag an audio file here into the media bin folder. Now we can use it for our video and I drag it into track one. Again, we can play the preview to listen to the sound Very nice, then I go to the end of the video to trim the audio track at this position. By the way, you can use Ctrl and the mouse wheel while hovering over the timeline to zoom in and out. Alright, the last task is to fade out the audio track at the end of the video. Again, very simple, you go to Audio Effects and drag Fade Out onto the audio track. Okay, now let's play, then it is faded out and I'm happy with it, so I can export the video. I click the export button, alternatively Ctrl and the P key and then you can choose to export to YouTube or Vimeo, but I like to export as a local file where you can control the settings, for example the quality, but I just export here as an mp4 file. Then I set the title and the export folder and that's it. Now you can upload your video to the platform of your choice. So guys, I hope you found this interesting and useful. If you do, then please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. The link to Camtasia and the assets is added to the description. If you have any questions, add these to the comments. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook and I'll see you in the next one here on JNM.